today's video is going to be an overnight or travel bag video. I've just come back from a couple of days in Scotland and I've got a short vlog on that showing the places I visited and stuff and I'll link that in the description box below. I don't know about you but I am so nosy and I absolutely love the what's in my bag videos. Didn't have time to do one before I left so everything in this bag is ready for washing and probably a little bit creased. So here is my bag. It's um, the oldest bag ever. <laughs> um, I bought it about eight years ago on eBay and it's a head bag and I bought it originally because I used to dance and I kept all my dance things in this bag but I actually love it because it's so compact and lightweight um, and you can fit so much in it. I call it my Mary Poppins bag. So I've already taken out a few things like underwear toothbrush and stuff like that just to speed things up a little bit so let's just start with the main compartment in the middle first of all I've got this um, it's just a little plastic bag that I got inside it I got the Corez I don't really know how to pronounce that but I'm gonna go with Corez shower gels a fresh blend of basil and lemon shower gel guava shower gel and guava body butter Basically that's what came in this pack, but at the moment you can see I've only got the guava body butter and shower gel. The lemon one is in my shower right now. And I just thought it was a really handy little bag to keep my toiletries dry in. And I've just got a little razor in there, travel razor, and some extra shower gel. So that's first. Next we have my makeup bag, travel makeup bag and wash bag, and it's by Kurt Geiger. And I would go through all of this, but we'd be here for hours. So let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a what's inside my makeup bag. Then I've got the ever important GHDs. I cannot live without these. I've had these forever and a day. And at the moment, I haven't found anything better for my hair. My hair is really thick and it doesn't really hold a curl for long if I use anything but my GHDs and great for straightening of course as well. Then I've got my Naked palette just because it won't fit into that travel makeup bag. Naked one that is. Then I've got this HD Brows. I've just got this new actually and I love it. Let me show you it. It's like the full palette for all eye colours. The professional palette. There you go, you can see I've had a little dip into all the colours. <laughs> um, but it's just fantastic. Maybe I'll show a tutorial using this soon. Then we get on to clothes. Now the clothes I packed for this, um, it was a weekend in Scotland and it was pretty much freezing cold the whole weekend and we did a lot of walking, which I knew in advance that we were going to do and um, we actually went up a mountain at one point in the snow. So. All of the clothes I've packed are just like old clothes or things that I don't mind getting dirty. I kind of went for a mix of very old jeans that I don't care whether they get ruined and a couple of nicer tops but still nothing too fancy um, and also warm. So first things first, I took this jumper, it's got a nice little bow detail on the back. Um, I actually got this from a friend for my birthday. I think it's from Dorothy Perkins. Can you see that? Um, so yeah, it's just a plain, kind of like grey cream jumper that I think is really cute. Then I've got this denim shirt. I got this from Primark and I love it. Um, it was really cheap, I can't remember how much now. But I just think it's so nice for autumn. It's got little gold buttons with cream detail. And more often than not, I actually wore this um, layered underneath that last jumper I showed you, just with the collar on and stuff. Then I've got a dressier top, just because I knew we were going out to dinner. A nice dinner. And that got these little gold studs on, really needs a wash, um, but that is from Topshop. Love that 
laptop. And then, what else is in here? Oh, warm jumper. This is just like a scruffy jumper. I'm not sure where I got this from. It's just a nice grey jumper with these little details on the shoulders. It's really comfy and I wore this to travel down in as well. Or should I say travel up? Then I have these trousers. I wore these with um, with the denim shirt because obviously I don't like to wear double denim that much. Um, they're just like skinny tailored trousers and they're really comfy and really creased. And where are they from? They're from New Look. So one of the mill skinny jeans. They're just and they've got stretchy waist as well, which is good. And um, they were from, I think the denim company is Primark. So they're just like jeggings really. And I took them because I thought I could wear them day or night. I wore them in the day with like flat boots. And then I wore them in the night with that um, cream top with the studs that I showed you before. And then these and some heels. Oh, PJs. I actually need some new winter PJs. These are like summer ones still. They're super comfy. These are some like pink and purple tartan shorts, which I thought was very apt for Scotland. And then I just generally wear them with a black vest top. This is just an old black vest top. So yeah, that's all. Everything in the main compartment, I think. Let's try this zipped part over here. So this is kind of like toiletries and stuff. I've got the Lancome um, La Vie Espelle and I love this perfume. I decided to, normally I take like a travel size but this has nearly run out anyway. And I just I had room in my bag so I just put that in. It's just an old one. Love that perfume, would recommend. Oh, this was in my September favourites, I think. This is my Aussie Miracle Hair Insurance Leave-In Conditioner. Love it. Then just some spare um, bubbles <clears throat> for tying my hair back. You never know when you're going to need them, do you? And they're so cheap. I think I got these from Body Care. And there was 27. I'm not sure how much it was, but it wasn't much more than a pound for 27. Then I just took a little bit of sun cream, this is just a little travel sun cream by Nivea. I actually got this in France when I went to a wedding earlier this year and it was perfect just to stick in my bag just in case it was a bit sunny, which it really was sunny. It was freezing but it was so sunny, it was gorgeous. So yeah, really handy. Nivea deodorant, boring. Some Savlon just in case, that's the old lady in me always keep some savlon and plasters and stuff. Actually, I didn't take plasters this time, which isn't like me. But yes, yeah, some savlon for cuts and scrapes. A comb. Oh, these, I love these. These are from Primark. And they are the fleece lined tights. They're just like winter tights, but inside the lining is so soft and so warm. They're amazing and I love them. And then last but not least is just this little bag that I got some makeup in that I've just chucked in some handy things to have on me. That is my, um, is it an iPod Nano? I think that's an iPod Nano it's called. I actually got this free. Um, I went on a little conference about sun cream and the dangers of the sun and stuff and Nivea gave us this free iPod Nano, so thank you Nivea. Then I've got some safety pins, because you never know when you need safety pins. Some mini tweezers, very handy, and some grips and clips. <laughs> then I've got a little pocket down the side of here. So useful, this bag. And I've just got um, some Dermalogica samples with me that I picked up. I've actually used most of them, but I had the Active Moist Dermalogica. It was pretty good. It's a good moisturizer, but nothing special. Then I had the Skin Perfect 
primer and that was really good and it's got SPF 30 in which we love and it's also got a UVA high protection um, I'm not sure if you're aware I know most people are but just in case when you are getting sun lotion or products that you specifically want protection from the sun you need to look for the UVA um, protection symbol can you see it there gonna focus no but it's just UVA in a little circle and sometimes they have stars next to it as well it's um, up to five stars five stars is the most protection you can get and what that does is it protects against the aging effects of the Sun SPF will stop you from burning but which is UVB rays but UVA protects you from aging a pen which we actually bought we visited a mountain and we sent some postcards from the top there was a post box right at the top the tallest the highest post box in Britain I think and it was Cairngorm mountain we just bought a pen to write our postcards then some nail scissors and um, a memory card it's a little adapter because my camera actually takes um, micro memory cards so this adapts them so I can put it into my laptop and then some floss by dental care it's just a random one I picked up and I thought it would be handy to keep in my travel bag um, and then what's the other bit this bit so in here I have oh these are great this is energy release tablets and they're like effervescent you put them in water and then you drink them they taste like orange and they're nearly an exact copy of Barocca they buy the vitamin store, I get them a body care, they're £1.45 and I compared them and Barocca's, like, I don't know if it counts as ingredients, but the nutritional information and it's practically the same, but obviously Barocca is double the price, if not more. So yeah, energy release, they are really good. I only have half a tablet because they do have a ridiculous amount of vitamin C and you can't possibly need that much. I think it's... Um, 595% of your recommended daily amount so yeah only half a tablet you don't need a full one and then I have my hat because it's cold this is by River Island I love this hat actually kind of defeats the object because it's got big holes in it so it lets all the wind in but I like it anyway and then last but not least some nice dangly gypsy earrings I have no idea where I got these from I might have stolen them from my mum um, but I love them they add a bit of glamour and I've got as I said before I've got really thick long hair so you can definitely see them when I've got them on for a night out obviously I had shoes um, I actually kept my shoes in a different bag so that they wouldn't get my clothes dirty so I'll show you those in a minute jewelry wise I just took my everyday jewelry like this that I've got on and stuff and then I took my dressy earrings I think I've got a dressy ring as well actually in my handbag and then here are the shoes I took with me first of all let's start with these these are walking boots and um, they actually look much better on than they do off they were really useful while we were away because they kept my feet nice and warm. I had nice knitted socks underneath, which were really warm. And as I said, we went to the top of a really snowy mountain. So they were really good for gripping. And I love them. They're by Camprey. I'm not really sure. Then I've got my limited edition Converse, which are a bit worse for wear, but I love them. They've got a red sole, Ooh, dirty red sole. And yeah, the all-star Converse. Then, then I took some boots. These are by Wildflower. But they are so snugly warm. They are full of like um, fake fur lining. And they are snugly warm. Just got a zip there and a nice rubber sole. So yes, love these boots. They kind of are a bit dressy as well which is nice, comfy but dressy. Then, then took these for dinner at night. They're just some like T-bar court shoes. 
these are actually from Primark and I got them in the sale so they were a bargain I think I can't remember exactly what I paid but I think it might have been about six pounds so yes definitely a bargain love these heels and they're super comfy so yeah that's all my shoes so that's everything guys that's everything in my travel bag I hope you found this interesting and let me know if you want any other um, what's in my purse videos or something like that any tutorials don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video bye